My name is Les Fox. My wife Sue and I are New York Times bestselling authors, and we're also art experts. And we've written a new book that we think you're going to be very excited about. The title of the book is called The Art Buyer's Handbook. Uh, the subtitle is How to Buy Art for $5 and Sell It for a Million Dollars. That's a catchy title, and you might think it's not true, but it is. It's a true story. Uh, a gentleman in California in 2001 bought a painting for $5 uh, at a flea market, I'm sorry, a garage sale, and uh, sold it a couple of years later to the National Gallery of Art for over $1 million. True story, the, the complete story is in our book. You're going to love this book. This book actually teaches you, even if you're not an art expert, in fact, the book is not written for art experts. It's probably the only really serious art book that's ever been written that is not written for art collectors. It's written for the average person, people that uh, play the lottery, people that go to garage sales and flea markets hoping to find something valuable and exciting. And you, you will, you can, and this book will help you doing it, do it. So I hope that you will buy a copy of the book. The price of the book is $14.95. We have some ads that say, uh, do you believe that a, an art book for $14.95 could change your life? And of course, most people would think, no, I don't think so. Then the ad says, think again, because this art book could change your life. Um, we work with a website called askart.com. That's not our website. Uh, we actually have a website at AmericanArtAdvisor.com. Our, our website is AmericanArtAdvisor.com, and you can read about our book, and you can see everything we do in the art business. We've been in the art business for over 30 years. We do free art appraisals. Uh, we have a very interesting art business and an art auction business. Uh, but what I really want to talk to you right now about is the book, because this book will tell you how to, uh, to find paintings that are really valuable. Now, it'll have to be an original oil painting. In some cases, it could be watercolor. But in most cases, it would have to be an original oil painting. Uh, as a rule, prints, lithographs, seriographs, all kinds of reproductions are not very valuable. And we don't get involved with praise, appraising them. And that's the first thing we tell you to, to sort out when you go looking for valuable paintings. Look for the original paintings, specifically oil paintings. And there are over 200,000 artists with auction records ranging from a few thousand dollars to as much as 25 or 30 million dollars on that website I mentioned before, ASCART, which you can link through through our website at AmericanArtAdvisor.com. You'll also be able to buy our book, um, if it's not there right now, it will be shortly on Amazon.com. Uh, and the, this is a really exciting, really interesting book. Like I said, you don't have to be an art collector. The book is written for people who are not art collectors. Now, Sue and I happen to be art collectors. This is a painting from Indiana uh, that's in our collection. And you can maybe see a little bit of a painting that's an American folk art painting uh, over to, um, to the right of me. And we are serious art collectors. Uh, and we love art. And that's, that's why we wrote the book. We wanted to write a book for people like you who have an interest in art. I'm sure you enjoy going to museums, and, and but, but I think it, your real interest in art would be if you were someplace, and it could be anywhere. It could be a flea market, a garage sale, an estate sale, a consignment shop, uh, the Salvation Army, a, a church sale, local antique uh, shop, a local antique auction. It could be a friend's house. And there are paintings, you'll be shocked when you read this book, because there are paintings that are very, very valuable, worth tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars by artists you've never heard of, by paintings that you probably walk right past uh, if you saw them in a flea market for $10 or $100. And like I said, there was someone who bought a painting in 2001 for $5, sold it for over a million to the National Gallery of Art. Um, we also have stories in the book about celebrity art collectors, which includes President Barack Obama, who uh, has changed the White House art collection, um, Steven Spielberg, uh, Steve Martin, Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt, Bill Gates, um, Paul McCartney, these are all famous art collectors. We have interesting stories about that. We also have a story about a new museum in, uh, in Alabama, and I'm sorry, in Arkansas that you probably never heard of, uh, called Crystal Bridges. Maybe you did hear of it, but it's, it's just opening, uh, or recently opened, uh, and it was uh, created and sponsored by Alice Walton, who's from the uh, famous Walmart family. And this is a fantastic new American art museum. The book tells you all about museums because that will help you identify valuable art. But mostly this book is about how to find art for a reasonable price and sell it for a lot more money. And, and on that basis, I think you'll enjoy the book. Let me see what else is in the book that you'd be interested in. Well, you know, there's, there's, all, there's stories of other people. Also, many people have found valuable art, uh, all kinds of places. And you'll find all those stories in the book. The book is called The Art Buyer's Handbook, How to Buy Art for $5 and Sell It for a Million Dollars. 
and it will be available or is available on Amazon um, or you can get it through our website AmericanOnAdvisor.com and we encourage you to, to buy the book, read the book, contact us if you have any questions. You can reach us by phone and email directly, uh, which is unusual in today's day and age. I actually answer the phone. We work, often work on the evenings and weekends. The book is called The, Ameri the Art Buyer's Handbook. You're going to love it. Please buy a copy of our book. It'll be the best $14.95 investment you've ever made. I guarantee it.